With the 11 o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center, we have not only Category 4 Hurricane Durin, but a 140 mile an hour, 100, 948 millibar Hurricane Dorian north of the Bahamas at the moment. You can see its track history here all the way up. I'm expecting it to reach a low end Category 5 strength before impacting the Bahamas, which currently have hurricane warnings and watches in place before it slows down, stalls out, and begins to weaken slightly back down to a Category 4 as it approaches the Florida coast. This might be a Category 3 near Orlando. And then we're looking at Category 2 near Jacksonville. So lots still to change. And as we mentioned in the last one, it could still go out to sea and maybe affect South Carolina and North Carolina instead. It could go inland. Probably won't go across. Or it could ride the coastline. Evacuation orders remain in place for the five counties highlighted there along with a few mandatory evacuations closer to the coastline and the university closure map looks similar i actually haven't updated it but uh, likely no more changes to the university map than what already is there now if we take a look here at my projected uh worst case winds this is the same graphic i had here last time we're looking at major hurricane force winds along the coast, hurricane force winds all the way up the coast. This might actually extend a bit farther north than what I currently have it at. And tropical storm force winds uh, down in the Keys and up in southeastern, uh, the southeastern United States. Now, I have changed the storm surge graphic to account for this near coast thing. Uh, heavy storm surge across a huge area all the way from the Keys up to the North Carolina area and expect that to head farther north, especially if the storm remains how it is. Now, one last thing we do want to look at is our rainfall and how the rainfall could definitely play a factor. Lots of things still to be considered. The European model, same deal as what we looked at earlier today. Lots of offshore, some onshore, and this trended about the same to be somewhere along the coast with the 18Z run as well the uh american model has relatively the same idea along the coast or just inland versus the european along the coast or just offshore national hurricane center now going along the coast maybe a tad offshore but you can see that 148 40 mile an hour winds and a super slow forward motion as it impacts the bahamas before heading into florida Rainfall also has not changed since the previous advisory. The last update was at 425 p.m. from the Weather Prediction Center. So lots could still change here. You can see many of these models offshore, but regardless, the, like this gray and this red model, those two are concerning if it rides the coast all the way up. Lots of storm surge, lots of rain, slow moving system, especially down here. Lots of factors still can be to, still to be considered a couple models are up here on this upper edge of the guidance and currently dorian's about right here which leads me to believe we could potentially see category 5 hurricane dorian in the next few days here's another look at the infrared satellite on dorian beautiful clear eye uh and that's my coding page which you can check it out or maybe you are checking it out on my uh website right now so see you guys all in the next one. The next update will be uh, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern, 1600 hours, you coordinated universal time.